Hi, what's up everyone? I hope you are doing good. Come back with me. Now I want to introduce you to a remarkable application called Retool and it is basically a pioneer in building internal application with little to no code. And it is amazing to see what this uh, movement, uh, by movement me, I mean the low code, no code movement or citizen developer movement where the idea is like average people can be a developers can be some create something really good and the idea is now there is uh, basically a lower barrier to entry for people to to do really good thing in, in tech right and with this kind of tools you can basically build whatever you want whatever you think you you could do uh, with basically uh what is it easy easy uh, what is it, uh, tools like this, right? And my goal here is to introduce you to these tools and this tool is called Retool. And then the basic premise is build internal tools remarkably fast. And they are really fast. By fast, I mean you, you, you can actually wiring up a lot of, a lot of components, a lot of like things together in one beautiful forms very, very easily. And the good thing is it is free. And that is, there is some advanced feature, but it's mostly free. And uh, like in most use cases, you will just need a free version. Uh, and if you want to be a developer in this, in this space, I think you don't need to worry about that because the company that you will hire, you will basically have the retool itself. And I think it is basically the uh, building blocks for future futures uh, internet. Because now in the future, companies don't need to hire like basically like uh, a lot of, uh, they still need a software engineer, like people who build, build like hardcore engineering stuff, but it basically lowered barrier to entry. Now you can imagine that people uh, in non-tech, uh, like in operation finance, in uh, other department in, uh, company or tech company, they can create really good, good, good tools for their uh, uh, team with little to no code. And I believe in the future, people will be more and more, uh, what is it, comfortable with playing with a lot of like technical stuff like SQL, JavaScript, and a couple of the things. But my goal here to introduce you to these tools, right? Okay, let's, take it, let's continue. So if you are arriving in retool.com, you will see uh, a page like this it can be different when you see the video but the idea is it's, it will onboard you to a lot of like good things about them and in here there is actually a video on how to use three tool uh, to create something real quick in four minutes four minutes and they already used by a lot of like 14 500 companies from amazon to nbc to pinterest Mercedes, and a lot of things and that's awesome and yeah, I've been using Retool too for my 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 company and my own clients, and it's very rewarding when uh, when people uh, what is it use something you build uh, continuously. Although you don't need to create a lot of like hardcore software engineering, computer science stuff, you just like uh, collecting a bunch of uh, tables and everything and component together. But uh, but in here, you you uh, like someone who can play with computer, you can be a citizen developers. That's awesome. So, so Retool gives you a lot of like building blocks on building application. So if you see here, you can actually uh, have tables, have lists, have charts, forms, wizard, maps, and a lot of them, you name it, right? And uh, it is basically uh, offload a lot of like, uh, what is it? Uh, wiring and plumbing you need to create a good good front end and now you you offload it into retool it will have a lot of uh components that they maintain and you can just drag and drop it customize colors and everything but we we can just use them and then uh our primary job on, on helping our team internal team is much much uh faster because now you can focus more on the business side and the customer not your own like uh company uh, uh, like in our team itself, although it is important too, but the idea is you have something ready to go for your internal teams. Okay, so 
they they claim that you can assemble a lot of like things together in 30 seconds that, that that's true and you have table list chart and other thing and and in the bottom you can also connect to a lot of a lot of things and you can connect from mongodb mysql google c3 this redshift you name it and it is empowering because now you can actually writing a lot of data instead of writing your own plumbing you can just uh, connect to each other and then you can just uh, present like the idea that you want to ha you have in your head in your team to to the admin tools and then you can just connect it together and you can also connect to like apis like uh, stripe api you can do sql you can do mongodb a lot of like typical operation that you can do with your coding you can actually use or finish with uh, retool and it is built for developers and it's very very interesting so so people uh out there think that the low code no code movement is basically uh will kill the developers away not nah, not nah, not nah. so in my imagination in the future it's like a star trek uh, in the future when you interact with people programming you can you, you, do, you don't need to like do like uh like see out see in and everything using c or using python or everything but you actually using graphical tools to basically arrange together a lot of like information and data and then boom you have a working application it's like when i see in the uh star trek discovery if you following star trek uh they can they have basically like this uh cool computer with like uh holographic view and then people can just like uh what is it typing to the uh, screen and then they connect something with other each other and then they they call it coding they call it programming and i i believe in the future we we close to that we we don't need to like wiring a lot of doing a plumbing myself or ourselves we can just connect all the uh data that we already have in the in the computer in the internet together right and in the future developers can save a lot of time and in the future when you use three tools, you can you you are like living in the future. You are living in the Star Trek world. It's it's, it's very empowering, and uh, you can always customize the import and debug just like you would in the uh, what is it traditional software development, and that's good for you. And uh, the other thing is you can actually deploy and share securely. You can deploy in Heroku, by the way. It's, Imagine you can deploy in Heroku, and that, that, that's awesome. And you can have a Git revision history if you want to uh, deploy uh, or keep track of changes. You can actually have a fine grain access control and audit logs. You can have SAML and SSO, and it is loved by developers. I am a developer myself. I usually coding in JavaScript, Ruby on Rails, and typical web application. And I found it useful for my clients, my, my job, because now for some cases where uh, people need some tools, like simple tools for uh, for their operation, business operation, they can just, I can just like consult them. Hey, I have this tool called Tree Tool. If you are, uh, what is it? Your use case is very simple. I, I, I think you can create this solution much, much faster using Tree Tool instead of trying to basically building your own system with a lot of like optimization that you, you don't necessarily need and get started yeah yeah i think that they are, they are right let's get started okay so so i think i want to share to you uh, about tree tool and how it looks like so you can go click sign in here and when you sign in you can actually arrive in your company retool page and i in my retool page and in here you can actually create a new application like a, i create a blank application and you put your, your app but in my case i already have a blank application called tutorial one and i will just use it right okay so let, let's see what what we can do with this it's empty now but we can do edit application and i just want to onboard you to the uh, basics uh, of a few of free tool so in free tool you have uh, the top panel you can like change your name the name of the application you put you can put description uh, it is in markdown so uh, about you can say something like uh, this is awesome tool and you can actually save it uh, sorry for that okay 
and then in here you can basically uh, have another uh, menu here so sorry what I mean is uh, in a top there is the name of the app the descriptions you can have uh, this navigation so the left side or command B is for the left side uh, and this one is command G is for the bottom and this one is command U for the right side so BGU BGU okay and it's interesting you have zoom you have share preview you can go to the latest working version you can convert to module and release history and everything but I think the, the most important component is uh, the tools is on the left sidebar and right sidebar uh, but for this sake of the example I just want to leave the side the left sidebar uh, hidden and I'll focus on the right side in here so in here you can do inspect if you click uh, an existing components you can uh, basically uh, put some like background and everything uh, you can choose uh, anything you like and you can have an insert in here which basically show you a lot of like components uh, from tables you can drag and drop tables in here you can have a text input if you want to have a search in here for example you can have a number input uh, some in another places if you, so you can basically like uh, like up and down like that you can have the button in here if you want to you can uh, have a tab so see you can have a tab in here like tab one tab two and you can imagine in each tab you can have uh, like different things so this one and the tab one you can have another one like 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 this so so the idea is you already have a lot of like built-in tools that you can use without you trying to build it yourself you have chart you have key value you have model uh, in here if I click this it opens a model and it's interesting and in the model itself you can actually uh, what is it create something inside it and then in here next is see in the model you can basically click and then show something really interesting so what I'm trying to say here there's a lot of things that you can do in here and that in the bottom you have actually uh, the the data source and query connections or the, the business logic in here so for example uh, it is connected to the onboarding database you can uh, see uh, what happened what what we have in here uh, I'm not sure but can I list all tables okay I'm not so sure about the table so I just do uh, sorry I just do this okay so in here I just go to the read only and I just want to uh, okay I just want to edit and the table is images okay uh, order so let's do an order so for example I just want to do a query in here and then I just put select orders and run in here you have table in here like uh, all the table that you have and you can basically connect the data that we have for example we can just rename it into uh, orders and then in here instead of in here I can say uh, order the data um, and it's showing me all the data that I have it's very very interesting see so yeah, so I think this is, I will stop in here because the goal of this video is just to give you an introduction and I hope you found Retool useful for you. And I hope after this, you, you are going to Retool and then you learn Retool by yourself. I'll be creating more and more videos on Retool
but I hope this can help you getting started. So if you want to build internal tools, start with three tools. Anyone, developers, non-developers can build an awesome tools with three tools. And I hope you like the video and subscribe and like. Thank you. Bye-bye.